Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Land number one. This is part four, and we are using the red palette, which is up on the D-pad on the Game Boy Player. And just, just looking at this screen right now, it doesn't look that great, so if we do like one level and this palette's really shit, I'll probably just switch it. So anyway, with that... Oh yeah, this palette's shit. DK's like the exact same color as the background, definitely changing it after this level. Speaking of this level though, Fuck, that background music is awesome. Have a listen. <laughs> Don't you love, like, old games, how when you're, like, making noises, like, jumping on monsters, how it mutes? like part of the background because it can't have that much like sounds coming out at the same time. I always love that. Um I it's so random. It's like sometimes on title screens, like um oof, the, the original Legend of Zelda is a good example. I would like attack in time with the music to make sure the um oh, whatever part that stops playing when you're attacking stops playing <laughs> in time with the music to make it stop altogether and it was just like a really fun thing to do for no reason. So anyway, with that, like I, like I said uh, at the beginning of this, this is the second world, so I have no idea what I'm doing at the, from this point on. I have no idea where any of the bonuses are. And why do I feel like I've already missed one? You know, the halfway point. Uh... <laughs> yeah, halfway of no bonus usually means no bonus. Ooh, this sad guy, he just fell in a pit. I'd hate to be him. Oh, he be I bet he wishes he was one of those ones that can jump. I don't know if those actually appear in this game, though. Yeah, I really don't like this palette. <laughs> this palette's terrible. It's like, um... This palette sort of looks like the palette that is default on the Super Game Boy when you're playing a game... A Game Boy game that has, like, no defined palettes, so it was pretty much... Pretty much a Game Boy game that came out before the Super Game Boy. And down I go. It's really weird like that. Sometimes when you die, and you fall down like a hole after dying, you just die and you don't switch to Diddy. It's kind of cheating in a way. I don't like it. Okay. But anyway, back to this level. Tire, okay. DK. Barrel. Yeah, I see I got this. I I definitely had Diddy when I died there, whoa. Or maybe I didn't, didn't I get hit by that guy like last time too? But then again, wouldn't I have switched to Diddy then? Oh well that's, that's just epic fail right there. <laughs> Alright, well now, now I'm going getting hit again at the exact same spot. You think I would have learned my lesson? No, I'm just doing the exact same thing over and over again. I'm like a... Alphabet. <laughs> that didn't even make any sense. I'm gonna die again! This level's owning my balls. I don't think so that time, you dumb. You know, in all the commotion, I totally forget what those guys are actually called. Kremlings. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Dying again. I really suck at this game, don't I? Why can that guy jump that high anyway? He's not, he's not even doing like a jumping animation. He's just kind of... <laughs> air walking. I don't know why I find that so funny. Because they own my ass, that's why. <laughs> there you go, there's the animations for you. Okay, this guy... I'm gonna get him, so we wanna... No! No! Why is this so hard? Okay, you, you gotta jump, like, ages before he, like... Yeah, there we go, and I see that barrel. You're not tricking anyone, game. Ooh, Rambi, I could use one of those. Those Kremlings don't stand a chance now. Or the snakes either, huh? Son that, you suckers. That was a pretty easy bonus. Although I can't say the same for this level. D. K. Random banana patterns for the win. Okay, so I only got one bonus that level, so something tells me that's not going to be all of them. Or maybe it was, I don't know. Yeah, that level only had one bonus. So anyway, this uh, palette is pissing me off, so we're gonna change that right now. Okay, we're doing it again. 
Now we've got the green Peladon, which is sort of a greeny red. Oh. That is terrible. Okay, I'm probably only going to do one level with this one too, because this one just hurts my eyes. But at least DK is a bit more visible on this one. So is this a... Is this a full-blown water level, huh? I guess. Oh, and we all know there's one thing you gotta do in water levels, it's beat ca- What the hell is that? That is such a weird enemy, it's not reoccurring in any Donkey Kong Country game. I know, um, look, it's, um... Shit, you know, I'd really love to make a Finding Nemo joke, but I do not remember what that guy's name is from the movie. Well, I've got a new name for him, owns my face. Because he... Owned it bad. Okay, these guys again. Gee, I don't. This level's really weird. I suppose the green sort of fits though, because it's like, um. That poisonous level from, uh. Poison Swamp from the first Donkey Kong Country or whatever it was. Poison Lake, I think it was called. Okay, anyway. Careful, careful. Avoid. Check. There's probably a bonus. No, no bonus. Okay. Avoid. Whoa. This is too close for my likings, if you ask me. Oh, whoa! Okay, Finding Nemo's buddy put on some pounds. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, yeah, we can't go above this thing here. I kind of thought that was obvious, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? I did not know that the O was in the location where the O was. Oh, really? This is such a thin water level, though. Usually, in the Donkey Kong Country games, the water levels are a bit more vast than usual, but this is pretty much just like a linear level. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if the Game Boy didn't allow them to make, like, explorative water levels, and they pretty much had to go from point A to B, because Game Boys are stupid, and not as, as advanced as NES's. Man, that'd be a weird game, Donkey Kong Country on NES. I never even thought of that before. That would look pretty. W well, obviously, it wouldn't be um, uh, silicon graphics anymore because <laughs> no way the NES could do that. Oh well, they probably could, but it looked like shit because the resolution. Well, not really resolution. I mean, that and the snares have like the same res, don't they? 240p. Oh, uh, uh. oh, well, this level's crazy. How am I not like getting hit by these guys? I guess my um. Some of my Donkey Kong Country skill is coming through somehow, um... I'm kinda glad that's happening, to be honest. <laughs> this is a... Intense level that I haven't... Gotten any bonuses in, but then again... When you think about it... In the original Donkey Kong Country, none of the water levels in that game had... Bonuses, so maybe this one's the exact same thing. Okay... Maybe... Maybe... The end is coming up soon. Perhaps. Oh, if I don't get killed by that guy. Okay, no, okay, I got past him that time. Oh, over and under, as they say, whoever says that again. Alright, this level's got to have not that much more, right? I bet it feels like I've been going for hours. <laughs> Although this episode's probably only gone for like five minutes or something like that. Okay, dodge. There's the finish, but is there something past the finish? Probably. I mean, why else would they have this, um, convoluted area? Wham, wham, and another finish. So that's the second level that's had two finishes. I guess they really thought that five seconds you would save by going, not going back was really worth putting another exit there. Okay, so... Uh, this pallet's... Uh, one more level with this pallet. Like, it's not as bad as that other one. It's still pretty bad, though. What is this, another water level? Really? Oh, well, nice variety there, but this one looks like a bit more traditional, though. This is a... Uh... Oh, sorry, um, I'm just... Oh, what? Oh, okay, there's an invisible wall here. I was just listening, um... This is, uh... Aquatic Ambiance from, uh... The original Donkey Kong Country. Just the, um, crappy Game Boy version of it, I guess. Still pretty good though, you know, it's a great song. That David Wise, oh gee. I think he's gotta be my favorite, like, um, what would you even call him? Sound composer, I guess. Donkey Kong, like, there are games that have good sound music, whatever, in them, but Donkey Kong Country is just such a 
It's like, you know, some games have like that track that's like, they have memorable tracks, and they have like the tracks that are just like generic and forgetful. And it's like, you remember like every track in Donkey Kong Country games, because they're just all so great. It's like, every track is good, there is no, uh, that track, I forgot what that track sounds like. And I will prove it to you! Okay, no, I won't prove it to you. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to start humming every track from the original Donkey Kong Country. No, if you came here to see that, you better look somewhere else. <laughs> Fuck. There's the K. I think I already got that, though. Okay, so I believe I died around here. Somewhere around here, anyway. These wheels look a lot shrunk. Well, a lot smaller than they were in Donkey Kong Country, but then I guess that's kind of expected, considering... You know, if anything, they st still probably take up the, around the exact same screen percentage, since I'm dealing with such a much smaller screen area. Oh, I, don't, I don't like these fat fish. They're crazy. They're like... Such a big target, or obstacle, or prey, or enemy. <laughs> Let's go with that. I can't, I can't get over these like weird clamshell things. They're so cool. I can't believe they didn't use those in more Donkey Kong Country games. But these fat fish, though, they, I'm glad they didn't reuse them, so that balances everything out. There's more stuff over there. Can I um go through the wall again? Oh, itchy nose, itchy nose. Alright, there we go. I can't have any part of my body be itchy while I am trying to maneuver these crazy oceans with crazy killer flying wheels that inhabit the water. What are these? Are these like magic fish or something? These crazy killer wheels? Do they actually like breathe water? Because I couldn't, you wouldn't think a crazy killer wheel would actually be able to, um, navigate the water without some kind of remote device. Maybe they are remotely controlled by some guy who has no life. So, so if I find the guy who's controlling them, then I can wipe them all out without dealing with them directly. Alright, let's go find the guy. No, we can't do that. <laughs> I wish we could do that. That'd be really cool. But then maybe these wheels are sentient beings. Like, wasn't there like a, a live rock or something? <laughs> it's like a rock with guts in it. Could be witnessing the exact same effect here. Alright, so here's another checkpoint. This is a, I guess this is a pretty long level. It has been pretty long. I guess. Can we, um... Alright, no. That's not a secret area. And... Well, I suppose you can sort of tell... Ooh. I suppose you can sort of tell how far you've gone through the level based on... How many letters you've got. So I guess we're, um... About 75% done. Something like that. This is a nice secret. I bet we're bypassing a good amount of the level here. I just hope I didn't miss the G. Probably not. The G's always like right near the end. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. <laughs> Cutting the close corners. That's me right there. You want to see some Donkey Kong Country or land gameplay that's crazy and, um,. Oh, looks like I'm gonna die, but I don't die, but then I do die later on. That's me right there. That's me all over. Well, these bananas would make me think I want to go through the wall here, but I guess not. But then again, when I think about it, going through the wall isn't really something you should be able to do, so I guess the Kongs have, like, magic powers or something. DK, it's your turn. Go through a wall. Or how about, or how about you don't go through the wall, but... What a jackass tire. Oh shit. That's the exact same place I lost- Oh, there's the G, oh. Okay, so this is where I died last time. I did not realize there was a wheel on the other side. But since we got the G, we should be right near the end, right? Right. Right, 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 yes. We're at the end. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, can we have a level that's not underwater next? Okay, thanks. The and when I think about it, if the level's underwater, I don't have to find any bonuses, I don't know where they are. Oh, so what the hell's going on here? There's a level here. 
and you can go over here. There's, I, I suppose you can, there's a, you can go in either level, I guess, because they both have explosives in them to go into that rock, which will take us out the top there and over to this side, which will then lead up that top path over to that level, which is, I guess, the boss or something like that, which is a giant clam, maybe? Oh, anyway, that'll be all for this time, this time, this episode of me doing water levels on green and red pellets. Uh, <laughs> Next episode, I think we'll switch back to the Super Game Boy and maybe play on that for a bit more. Now I'll, I'll zoom it in so uh, you don't have to like squint at the screen because it's so small. Ooh, I can't see. <laughs> anyway, so I'll see you next time. Take care till then.